Watch your step. Be careful over there. Jesus Christ. You ever met Calvez? No, sir. Yeah, I know him. I knew him. This is ridiculous. You see right here? Right on his neck? See how jagged it is? Doesn't look like it was done with a smooth blade. Probably like a shard of metal or fuck. Something with teeth. These fucking animals, they look like amateurs. Shit. I count at least two. One up here by his shoulder. One stand by his abdomen. Look like these motherfuckers just shot him in the back and then they propped him up against this thing. He was married. He had two kids. Two boys. How long you been married, Nick? Uh, about a year and a half. You got any kids? Yeah. I got one. Boy. Big boy. Hmm. About 10 months old. That's good. How long you been with your wife? <laughs> um. I, um, I lost her. Uh, we married just shy of 16 years. She had cancer. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I, no, I no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I start talking wives, right? You have one. I had one. People ask all the time, yeah. <laughs> It'll probably make it easier on me if I didn't, if I didn't wear the ring. But you know, I like talking about it. First detail I had, I was, uh, I was vice. I wanted robbery, homicide, but I, I called vice. Yeah, I worked vice. Yeah, I hated it. Mm-hmm. Just hated it. I tried to ride it to the seams, hoping to maybe leapfrog somewhere else, but no dice, no good. I would just come home all bent out of shape, just pissed off. She would let me lay in her lap. And she would, she would rub my head, and sometimes maybe sing me to sleep. I would just lay there and stare at her. Still the best place in the world. I'll tell you one thing though. It made me a much better cop after she died. Yeah. All that half step and hesitation about the job, that stuff's gone. I see a deadbolt door, I'll break it in. I'm the first one in the room. I joined this joint task force. Head cracking, hang, crew, zombie unit. One time, I remember I went on this uh, this raid with the sheriff's department. Some dipshit is selling meth out of his apartment. Regular stop and pop, so we kick in the door, rouse the joint, I go in the back, I'm looking for junk. That's when I turn around. There's these two eyes staring at me from the inside of the closet. It's a little girl. A 10-year-old girl, naked, shaking like a leaf, scared to death. A stepfather had prostituted her out for the rent. So I wrapped her in my coat, carried her down to the car, I went back, and I beat that motherfucker half to death. Thought about my wife. Thought about the child that we never had. All the things about her that I hung on to. Because when it comes, when it comes to abusing a little girl, I mean, when I think about abusing a little girl, it's got nothing to do with rules and regulations. And everything to do with right and wrong. Same thing with Calvez. <laughs> 